हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज नेहा माथुर एंड वेलकम टू ऑल ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड टुडे सेशन इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द वे टू प्रिपेयर गेट एग्जामिनेशन फाइन एक्चुअली ड्यूरिंग द इंटरेक्शन विथ माय स्टूडेंट्स इन कॉलेज एज वेल एज द स्टूडेंट्स हुआ फॉलोइंग मी ऑन माई चैनल दे ऑलवेज आस्क मी मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम दे आस्क मी अबाउट Uh, how to prepare for the gate examination so on behalf of that i have tried to sum up some tricks for the preparation of gate examination which will help for each and every engineering student fine so today we will discuss about that but before starting the discussion i just want to suggest to click on bell icon to get updated for the upcoming videos fine students the complete proper information about the preparation of the gate you will be able to understand once you are going to watch this video till end so i will encourage you to watch till the end fine so the first thing is what is gate gate is basically a graduate aptitude test in engineering this is an examination for undergraduate students which are from engineering as well as science background because they can opt admissions in their masters as well as they can apply for the job in psus so basically this is a uh, and you can say that this is just a way to enter for your masters and to get job in reputed psus sector fine the second thing is if you find if you get a valid gate score card with good percentile with excellent percentile you can enroll yourself for the masters in reputed institutions in india like iits or iiscs as well as if you if you want to apply for psus you can go with public sector undertaking company public sector undertaking uh, sector like bsnl ongc bhel drdo there are several company there are several sectors related to psus for depends on branch to branch fine and the next important thing is the gate examination is conducted once in a year in the month of february or march so uh, prepare for that and the next thing is we are going to discuss about why gate why every student think about the gate examination so there are mainly four thing every engineering students would like to do after their engineering the first thing is most of the students want to go for the corporate job the second option is they wants to go for their masters and the next option may be for some students just to opt psus and the fourth one is civil examination so uh, whatever you want to prepare out of these four main courses the important thing is about your technical knowledge in just if i am talking about corporate examination corporate job you may little bit just go outside or think that gate examination is not as much as required for your corporate jobs but if we are talking about remaining options just like your master enrollment for psus or for civil examination you should prepare for gate examination because your gate examination is going to give you a good percentile good score card which will help you to enroll in these things and the important thing is i will suggest you for corporate job uh, willing students also that if you wants to go for corporate job still you should prepare for your gate examination because the way you are going to prepare the method you are going to prepare all the things are going to increase your technical knowledge your way of understand the technicality about your branch so every student from engineering should prepare for gate examination but after your engineering after your undergraduate if you wants to go for masters gate is valid gate is compulsory similarly for psus gate is compulsory i am again repeating for corporate jobs gate is not compulsory it is just to enhance your technical knowledge similarly if you are preparing for civil examination gate score card is not compulsory but again it is going to increase your technical knowledge so the answer is simple that why gate because you should prepare your technical knowledge in such a way so that you can represent yourself in full of technicality in full of technical skills after the completion of your btech fine so now the question is how to prepare for the gate examination fine i am going to discuss 
three techniques or tips which is definitely going to help you for your gate examination for the preparation of your gate examination but the interesting and important thing is gate syllabus is from the second year and third year subjects of your engineering fine 90% syllabus of your gate examination is related to your all the subjects you studied in your second year and in your third year of your engineering fine so it may be going to be more interesting and easier for you now the thing is how to start for the preparation how to start to prepare about gate examination the first important thing is try to gain knowledge conceptual knowledge topic wise fine so i will start if you are from second year student then we'll discuss for third year students and then for fourth year student if you are in second year students it is definitely going to be uh, easy to start the gate preparation at this stage of your engineering because as i told you that almost 90% syllabus of gate examination is from your second year and your third year then if you are in second year then try to study in such a way so that you can prepare your subjects when you studied in your college try to follow the teacher or your faculty to understand the topic wise knowledge of that subject but the most important thing here is your faculty is going to tell you about the syllabus or the topic of that subject as per prescribed in the semester examination but you should also follow the gate syllabus for that specific subject just an example suppose you are preparing for the nt basically this is a subject for ele from electronics and communication if you are preparing for nt then you are going to follow the lectures of your faculties in your college it will definitely help you to understand the subject in basics to understand or to more curious about the subject if you are going to follow your faculties fine so uh, i am talking about just taking an example of one subject if you are preparing to start from nt so your teacher is going to tell you the from the basics of the nt fine so you are going to follow that particular sequence that particular faculty but the next thing is also try to follow the gate syllabus so that a single topic can never be uncovered from your side fine and the next thing is you should also follow one reference book for each and every subject and just by studying from the faculty that particular uh, topic try to review from that particular reference book it will definitely going to increase the conceptual knowledge of that topic in depth then you will definitely able to solve some questions based on that topic fine so the easier manner for you is if you are following the your faculties or if you are following the syllabus of your semester examination the gate preparation is going to be easy so for the second students there will be no extra load because you are just going to follow the subjects as per mentioned in your semester examination instead of following that semester subject you will have to give some extra effort just to gain the knowledge in depth so that you can increase your conceptual knowledge now the thing is you have done with your second year and you are coming to enter in your third year then as per the suggestion with second year students you should also follow the subjects which you are going to study in your current semester and the second thing is you will have to follow you will have to revise the all the subjects which you have already studied in your second year so for third year student definitely you will need to go with more hard work because you will have to follow your current semester to pre to prepare your subjects from current semester as well as well as you will have to revise the subjects from your second year also now how you will have to do that the answer is simple just follow the concepts of the subjects which you are going to study in this semester suppose you are in the fifth semester you will have definitely five to six subjects in that particular semester uh, try to follow your faculties to revise to study these subjects from basics and 
since you are preparing for the gate examination that means you will have to follow the gate syllabus else also and you will also follow particular reference book to make sure to get the conceptual knowledge in depth fine this is about the following of current semester but you will have to put more extra effort and for that you will hold you will have to revise the subjects from second year now the thing is we have uh, approx 9 to 10 subjects from our second year how we can manage that subjects from the current semester so the answer is simple you will have to make your time schedule in such a way so that you can divide that 8 to 10 subjects into two two subjects for a month just an example uh, in present month this is a month of september and almost all the colleges are started uh, for their current semester so you have uh, approx 8 to 10 subjects from your second year divide them subjects in such a way that you can prepare you can revise two subjects from your second year in a month with this current semester that means you will have to need approx 4 to 5 months for the revision of your subjects coming you studied in your second year and the important thing is you cannot ignore you cannot ignore your current semester you will have to give similar attention you will have to give similar weightage for your current semester just try to balance the thing is not impossible the study the way of teaching the way of uh, uh, your reading is going to be more interesting if you are more curious and if you are just want to crack the gate examination and if it is your dream fine so just make just manage your time in such a way so that you can revise your subjects from second year and from third year fine now what about fourth year students if you are in your fourth year then you will have to prepare you will have the time just to revise the subjects from your second year and your third year fine so the students who are in second year or the students who are studying in third year this is basically a important trick to all of them that you should prepare your subjects in such a way that in your fourth year after one year or two year when you are going to in your fourth year at that time you should just revise your subjects just to appear in a gate examination when student comes in the fourth year there is a lot of things with students like placement tension like uh, groom your personality in such a way that you can present yourself in before the uh, interviewer or there are so many kind of pressure with fourth year students at that time you cannot give you cannot put your most of the time for the preparation of the gate examination so at that time you just manage you just give your time just to revise your subjects which you studied in your second year and in your third year fine but the important thing is whatever the subject you are studying you should make a proper handbook of notes the notebook should maintain in such a manner that the notebook is full of key information or i can say the way you understand about that topic the simple manner the just the key information related to that topic so try to maintain that handbook this handbook is going to be very useful for you during the revision of any examination when you are in your fourth year at that time you cannot uh, take all the books or all the notes you studied in your second year in your third year so this handbook the revision handbook is going to be very helpful at that time so i will suggest you to maintain a proper handbook with key information no need to go with depth you have already uh, lots of notes lots of resources to take knowledge in depth but just maintain a handbook with key information this is the first important trick the gaining of knowledge in depth in conceptual manner to enhance your technical knowledge now come with the second topic i will suggest you i will encourage you to like this video so that this video reaches to every student who actually wants to prepare for the gate examination fine so now come with the second tip and the second tip is practicing practicing of questions or i can say that solving the questions is going to be more most important trick for the preparation of any gate examination see 
since you are preparing subject wise and just to approach subject wise preparation you are preparing topic wise now the important thing is practicing once you have done with the first topic of your any subject i will suggest you to go with some questions related to that topic because the gate examination is not about the theoretical concepts the theoretical knowledge the gate examination is all about the tricks is all about the way of handling the questions so the questions may be from your just from your theoretical knowledge but the most of the part of the gate examination is based on tricks so you will be more comfortable with that tricks if you are going to solve the questions topic wise fine now i just want to elaborate that thing with the simple example again if you are planning if you are preparing your first subject that is nt network theory i am just taking about nt so the first topic you prepare for the nt is basic uh, kirchhoff law so you are preparing for the kirchhoff law you are properly familiar with the top with the conceptual knowledge what is kirchhoff law now the thing is try to practice some questions related to kirchhoff law you should follow a specific book there are lots of books available for the preparation of gate made easy the books from the made easy is such a very good book i will suggest you to prepare i will suggest you to buy a single book from made easy that book contain almost all the questions topic wise questions are also available over there and some previous questions are also available in that a single book so instead of follow several books if you have a single book for your gate preparation it will help you more fine so once you are done with the conceptual knowledge of your of that topic now come with the solution of some questions once you have done some questions related to that topic you will definitely uh, feel some confident you will become more confident about that knowledge because now you are able to put that knowledge in some tricky problems fine so the practicing of the question is important now the important thing is whenever you are going to solve the questions topic wise most of the students are definitely able to put to solve that question because you know that the question is this question is from that particular topic but once you have done with the complete subject then you should also practice some questions some combined questions some mixed question from that subject at that time when you are going to solve questions from the whole subject instead of topic wise questions now you will have to combine the concepts combine the uh, topics of that particular subject and this is the important for the gate examination because uh, sing, not a single question comes from a single concept based the concepts or the questions which asked in the gate examination is based on mixed concepts or i can say that the concepts from two or three topics comes just by making a single question so the important thing is just i am just making it more easy see just try to solve questions topic wise once you have done with topic wise solving of your question papers then and you have you are already completed with the complete subject wise knowledge then try to apply try to put solve questions with subject wise also this will definitely going to help you fine so topic wise practice is essential and once you have done with that practicing topic wise then the thing is mixing with all the topics or you should prepare for from all the subjects and in this in during this practicing you will be able to find you will be able to identify the questions from that particular topic you will be able to find that this question is coming from yeah, or you can say that this question is covering these two or three topics and this is the important for gate examination because the because a uh, question in gate examination is not based on direct patterns the question is based on two or more mixed concepts from different different topics fine so uh, practicing from topic wise 
is essential as well as practicing from the complete syllabus is also essential the third thing is in terms of third thing is in terms of practice is previous year question paper fine so once you have done with topic wise practicing then the subject wise practicing the third thing is third thing is try to attempt all the questions which already asked in previous 5 to 6 years this will definitely going to give you more confidence or you will be able to identify the proper pattern the proper concept the proper knowledge of that subject fine so this is all about the practicing of the questions which is very important for gate examination perspective so the third important tip for your for the preparation of your gate examination is time management see the ex paper of the gate examination contains several questions now the important thing during that time is the selection of a specific question or i think i can say to identify the particular question which you are going to attempt because you will have to attempt that particular question in within a particular time limit as well as with specific pressure so identification of the question is very important see the there will be lot of questions suppose you have 40 to 50 questions now the task is opt only those questions which are less time taking because if we are comparing about two question and you are, you know that you are able to solve the both the question but the first question is just taking 2 minute to solve the question while the second question is taking 7 minute to solve that question in that case you will have to identify that what question you want to opt at that time because during that time you have a time limit you have 3 hours to solve the number of questions so identification identify the important questions those are taking less time to solve them is the important thing during the examination when you are in the examination room now how you can identify that question the this thing is only based on the practicing whenever you have done a proper practicing of all the questions topic wise practicing as well as subject wise practicing after that you will definitely able to identify the questions subject wise as well as topic wise during your gate examination so the time management includes the selection of appropriate question which you can solve in less time because you will have several questions and a particular time limit 3 hours just 3 hours to solve all the question with a full of pressure situation so i will suggest you to go with more practicing so if you will be able to combine all these three techniques you will be definitely able to prepare your gate examination i am just reviewing my topic my session my today's session the thing is try to study your subjects in such a way that you can gain knowledge conceptually you can gain the knowledge of every topic every subject in conceptual manner the second thing is practicing you will have to follow you will have to prepare you will have to solve the questions topic wise then subject wise and then the questions already asked in the previous year examination if you will be able to do practicing in such a way you will be definitely able to make your proper time management which is the important tip during the examination when you are in examination room the important thing is time management if you are not able to manage your time then the knowledge as well as the practicing is not will be very useful so you will have to make your time management in such a way so that you can select a proper question which you are going to opt during that examination so follow that particular sequence and still if you are facing any issue if you are facing any doubt please mention a comment in a comment box so that i can handle your query personally i can give you a proper way a proper solution of your problem fine this is about the tricks related to gate examination i hope you will be able to understand what i am trying to say what i am just want to give you some tricks so that you can prepare your gate examination so students 
this is not a impossible to crack the gate examination with good percentile the only thing is you will have to put some more hard work in such a way so that you can opt the gate examination with good percentile just by following some basic trips and the regular study because the regular study is only the important thing so that you can follow all those trips just by following the regular study so go with the regular study start preparing about the gate examination start from today and you will definitely going to be crack, crack your gate examination i hope the session was informative for all of you and if the session is useful then click on like button so that the video can reach to all the students who are preparing for the gate examination and also click on bell icon to get updated for the upcoming videos thank you